I think so, yeah, I do. Um, I guess it's hard, it's hard to put it across to people sometimes because you know, all they see is us on the golf course and, and you know, they, they watch us on TV. And um, I think the whole narrative around me from the beginning was talent and so talented and this and that, whatever. But you know, even before then, even as a teenager and uh, you know, turning pro, the amount of time I spent practicing and putting into my game. And then you, know, you realize once you turn pro, you almost need to take it to another level again and, and, and add certain areas to, uh, to your game, whether it be the fitness part that you saw today or uh, try just to add different elements to your game. So yeah, I, I don't think people appreciate how hard how hard we, I, I wouldn't say I work hard because you know going and spending the whole day on the driving range or in the gym isn't you know to some people isn't hard work but that's you know I, I, I do spend a lot of time at it and it's not like you, you're born with a certain talent but you need to, to work as hard as you possibly can to 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 turn that talent into something um, more than just potential and, and try to achieve your goals and achieve everything that you want to I think if you're trying to make some sort of swing change or tweak something in your swing uh, before it feels 100% comfortable and 100% uh, like a subconscious thought. You don't even have to think about it. It takes thousands of repetitions, I would say. Uh, like even at the minute I'm trying to tweak a couple of things, I'm actually, my, my, my left hand grip has gotten a little strong. And I haven't, I haven't thought about my grip since yeah. I was like 12 years old. Yeah. So all of a sudden now I'm thinking about trying to weaken the left hand grip a little bit. and. Like I, I practiced for a few days last week and the first, like the first couple of days it felt so strange. If, if, you can, if you can persevere and stick with that uncomfortableness, at the end of the day it's going to make you a better player. And I think sometimes what people don't do, they don't, they don't, they don't stick with something long enough to get through that period of, you know, they might try it for a couple of sessions with the pro or uh, at the range and it mightn't work and they'll just revert back to what they're comfortable with because what they're comfortable with, with it might make them hit a good shot every now and again and they're sort of happy with that. Yeah. So yeah, there is, there's a certain point where you have to just say, okay, I'm, I'm going to be uncomfortable with this for a while, but I know in the long run it's going to make me a better player. I, I, I sometimes, if, I, if I'm practicing on my own, I would find going to the range. Um, I'm practicing on my game more of a chore than going in the gym. Um, but if you're practicing with people or if I have Michael there or Steve there or JP or I'm going out and I'm playing on the golf course, that's, that's a lot of fun. But uh, if, you're, if you're grinding away on your own on the range sometimes, that can, it can become quite monotonous and tedious and, and you really need to be focused and take breaks along the way to, to try and, I think it's more, not that not, not the, you get bored, but you get more it's hard to keep your concentration up for that long, especially when you're working at something so hard. I'm, 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 I, 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 I hit golf balls to the point where I'm comfortable with what I've done. And I've always said quality over quantity right. any, any, any day of the week. So uh, there could be like some of my best range sessions have been sessions that have lasted 40 minutes, really? 45 minutes. But then there's some times where you need to, to hit you know, a lot of balls, especially if you're working on something for the repetitions and, and just to try and make it comfortable. So um, I'd say on average, like if it was a practice week and I was getting ready for a tournament, you know, I'd, I'd hit balls for uh, at least an hour and a half to two hours every day. Uh, along, and that's just, okay, hitting balls, that's just on the range, but then you've got putting, short game, then go on the course. So you're basically at the golf course from nine in the morning until three or four in the afternoon. It does, it does make all the difference. It makes the difference between, um, like if we're talking about par, between carrying a bunker and not on the final hole of a major and being able to hit the ball from the fairway instead of in the rougher in the bunker. You know, it, it all, there, there's so many d tiny little vari variables that if you can just get a little bit better, you know, make a huge difference in the long run.